and welcome to another episode of Pens Pals. My name is Miss Camila, and today we have a very special returning guest, Miss Christina. And boys and girls, this is the book we're reading today. Just looking at the cover, what do you think it might be about? A pirate. A pirate. I'm going to pass it over to Miss Christina, and she's going to tell us more about this book. And then we can ask her questions, okay? Okay. Very good. So this book is called The Pirate Scope. And it's about using something we all have in Pirate our scope. brain. We can make a pirate scope. Imagination. But we have, what is it? Imagination. Imagination. Who has an imagination here? Do my friends at home have an imagination? No. I think they do. Mommy. As long as you have an imagination, you can write your own stories and you can look around the whole world and start seeing little things and go, I think I want to write a story about that and that. Sometimes when you use your imagination and you think about things you want to do, whether you want to be an astronaut. Anybody want to be an astronaut? No, I'm wow. Sorry. Or maybe you want to be a teacher. Oh, yes. Maybe you want to work at SeaWorld with all the sea animals. See, that's Can wonderful. I change and I want to do that. I <laughs> know. Oh, so using your imagination and you practice and play in the in, in your imagination trying to play like that, you might grow up to do that job. So before we read the pirate scope, I need your help. And I need your help at home too, my pirate friends. Can you please take your hand and place it on your cheek, tilt your head, and give me a, give a big sigh. <sighs> that is exactly what Pete does in the story. He's very bored, and so he sighs three times. And whenever I say that Pete sighs, you need to be able to do that sigh to help Pete with the sign. Let's try again. <sighs> very good. And also, I'm wondering if anyone can do some pirate voices. So, let's practice. I know all of you can. So, repeat after me and do your best pirate voice. Avast! Avast! Oh, wonderful. How about scallywags? Scallywags! And friends at home, you do this with us as well. Let's do... Arr, mateys! Arr, mateys! Good, and let's do one that Pete does when he speaks to his mom. He's asking her if you understand me, and he goes, Savvy? 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 You put that high sound on the end. It means, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So he will use all kinds of pirate words. So, shall we begin the story? Yes! Yes! So let us read the pirate scope and find out how Pete uses his imagination when he finds a paper towel tube. Rain rushed through gutters and pelted the ground, creating little pools of mud. Looking out the window, Pete sighed his 22nd sigh. <sighs> Why don't you read a book or build with blocks, Pete's mother said, while putting a batch of cookies in the oven. Pete didn't want to do anything but go outside and ride his scooter or play basketball with his friends. Sulking, he tapped his fingers on the windowsill and watched drops and drops and drops of rain race down the window pane. It was then his nose began to tickle with the chocolatey scent of cookies drifting through the house. Do you see what he's doing? He's going to try to steal the cookies. Yeah. Don't you dare, young man. Those cookies are for your brother's birthday party tomorrow. Do you think that made Pete very happy? No. No. I think the cookies were too hot, and his mother didn't want him to burn his fingers. That's what I was thinking when I wrote that. Slinking with slumped shoulders up the stairs, Pete mumbled, Guess I'll go to my room and find something to do. Pete lay on his bed and sighed his 23rd sigh. <sighs> he thumbed through a book, put his clothes in a jumble pile, and opened his toy box he hadn't seen in a while. 
tossing out a tattered ball glove, a broken yo-yo, and a green glow stick with no glow, <laughs> Pete sighed his 24th sigh. <sighs> oh, you're too good at that. He was giving up on finding fun in the box of forgotten toys when, could it be, he thought, lying on the bottom of the box, next to a one-armed action figure, was a paper towel tube with skulls and crossbones painted on every side. Do you think you could read this for me? My pirate scope! Oh, yes. Do you think he's excited now? Yeah. I think so, too. Let's see what happens. Pete put the pirate scope to his left eye, and he squinted his right eye good and tight. Can you do this? Very good. All at once, his whole bedroom became piratized. You see the big ship? I see a shark. A shark. Good. Let's see what's going to happen next. Ahoy! All hands on deck. Set sail full canvas. Many, many long days and many, many long nights pass while Pirate Pete sails the vast ocean in search of treasure. With the crew exhausted, the lookout shouts from the crow's nest, Land ho! Drop anchor, roared Pirate Pete. Hey, shark's tail. Mm. And fish. Very good. Eager to begin his pirate adventure, Pete tiptoed down the hall and slowly opened his baby brother's door. Do you see his baby brother in a crib? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when Pete uses his imagination, he sees his baby brother differently. A vast, it's stinky stew in the brig. What'd you do this time, me hearty? Did you bite Captain Peggy or forget to swab the deck? When Stinky Stew saw Pete leaving the room, the frown on his face grew and grew. Don't hang the jib, Stew. I'll speak to Captain Peggy about an early release. <laughs> so what he's really saying is, Stew, I will make sure that Captain Peggy can come get you up. Who do you think Captain Peggy is? Who do you think, Caitlin? His mom. His, his mom. mom. So he wants to make sure that mom knows that Stu is wake, woken up from his nap. Shiver me timbers, you old sea dog. Where'd you come from? The galley? It's time for treasure. So get that sniffer of yours working. He's him. Do you see him? <laughs> from two doors away, Pirate Pete and his old sea dog could hear the sound of music blaring from the bathroom. I think it's time we pay a visit to the lair of Magdalen the Sea Hag. Cover your ears and whatever you do, don't listen to the music. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we've met a baby brother and we've met his dog. Who do you think the Sea Hag is? His sister. His sister. Are you ready to see a Sea Hag? Now this is Pete's imagination. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peeking around the corner, Pete watched while the sea hag primped her petulant pieces of hair. What 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 does her hair become? Snakes. Snakes. Oh, yeah. and what is she combing with now? Instead of a regular comb. A fish. A fish. A dead fish. Now, is mm -hmm. Pete using this imagination? Yeah. Yes. yes, he is. He, and this is his older sister. Do you think they always get along? No. Yeah. Not always. Let's see what he's going to do. <laughs> Daring to disturb her daily doting, Pete did the unthinkable. He rendered Magdalene's melodies useless. So he turned her music off. Get out of here, Pete! You sea hags are all the same. Bad taste in music and mean land lovers. <laughs> so he insulted her in pirate speak. When you call someone a land lover, that's a pirate insult. Okay, so we've met baby brother. 
We've met his dog. And now we've met his older sister. Who do you think might be next? Yes. His brother. His another brother? Let's see. His cat. After haggling with the sea hag, Pirate Pete and his sea dog happened upon some pirate thieves trying to take a nap. <laughs> Avast ye! Watch out for those scallywags! They'll plunder your ship and hornswoggle your loot when you turn your back. So what he's really saying is, watch out for those thieves. They're going to steal all your stuff when you're not looking. That's what he's really saying. Silly cats. Pete rubbed his dog's ears. Come on, rascal. Let's leave these rasc Let's leave these fellas. Chocolate treasure awaits downstairs. <gasps> Chocolate treasure. Cookies. Oh, what do you think? Say it again. The cookies. The cookies. Oh, so he's still trying to find the treasure. Hmm. Shh. Don't make a sound, me hearty, lest we wake the quartermaster and be forced to walk the plank. Hmm. What does that mean? That's what I'm... He's going to fall in the sea. He would fall in the sea, absolutely. And if they fell in, do you think that the ship would just sell off without them? Yeah. Probably. Who do you think is sleeping in the chair? The dad. Caitlin? The dad. The dad, absolutely. So he's pretending the dad is the quartermaster. And the pirates would always let the quartermasters choose who had to walk the plank. And you don't want to be the one chosen. That's right. Hmm, I wonder who's going to meet next. I think we're about done. Let's go. Amzi, who do you think? <gasps> you think he's going to meet Mom? And someone said earlier that we had to have a captain in the story. Let's see. Pete, what are you doing? Blimey, Captain Peggy. It'd be time to release Stinky Stew and share the pirate treasure. Savvy? Oh, um, Pirate Pete, what mutiny is this? Stammered his mother in her best pirate voice. The good crew be hungry and could do with something chocolate. Yar, tis true, you are a good crew and shall be rewarded. But first, you must fight for a piece of the treasure. <laughs> Now, is his mom really going to fight with him? No. What do you think what she's, she's going to use? Her imagination. Say it nice and loud. That's perfect. Imagination. That's right. Her imagination. And she's going to pretend with Pete. Can you just get back just a little? Thank you. Now, let's see what happens. Are you ready? <gasps> Look at mom. Are they pretending? Yeah. yeah. Pirate Pete and Captain Peggy clash their scimitars with expert ease until... Arrgh! I'm a yielding, Pirate Pete. You have earned your riches. Would you like a glass of milk to go with your treasure? Hmm. He won. He won. <laughs> Raindrops drip from gutters, glistened on leaves, and the sun shone brightly in the sky. Pirate Pete and his old sea dog sat on the front stoop, savoring their pirate adventure. Oh, that bad guy is going to steal the cookies. Absolutely. <laughs> Pete sighed his 25th sigh. <gasps> the happy one. <gasps> yes. Good. You know, boy, there'll be no Davy Jones locker for us today. And then at the end, Pete says... Oh. Alas, me hearties, this be the end of Pete's pirate tale. Fair winds and calm seas. The end. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. I think while you were reading it, though, I think some of the kids noticed something in the pages. <gasps> Oh, you noticed you like something? To share it's with an you. Spy book. Oh my goodness, you are so quick and easy because I know you were noticing the whale tails on the pages. And the fish on the water. 
and the fish at the end of the story. Did you see this page with all the green writing on it? Yeah. This is a page to let you know that when you use your imagination, there is always treasure to be found. So my illustrator and I, we work together to hide pictures inside the pictures. And on that very last page, you said you saw someone stealing the cookies. Who was stealing the cookies? The cat. The cat. But let's say one thing we all have, and all of you showed me that we have, and all of my friends at home, what do we have in our little heads here? Right under my head, I have one, you have one. What do we have, Caitlin? Imaginations. And with those imaginations, we can make up our own stories, and then you can share those stories with others, and whenever you share your stories, you are a published author. Did you know that? Yeah. So once you share it, maybe put it on the refrigerator or hang it up in your room and share it with someone you know, you're considered a published author. Tell them how to do it, okay? Yep. Oh. So we'll clean up our table and we let it actually And then what? Yeah. Okay, let's Do you know why? Because you found this. And what could it be? Treasure. That's right. A really large pyroscope. Oh, you're a baby! <laughs> Hello. 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 Thank you. Now, so I want to show you something I did to this scope. Is I took pictures from the book and I traced them onto the big scope. You see, we have our world and your favorite, James the dog, right? A dinosaur, dinosaur scope. What about you, Caitlin? A monster reading a book. <gasps> a monster reading a book. You're a gal after my own heart. What about you, Jen? Is that a T-Rex? Oh, I like T-Rexes. Of course, their arms are this big, right? They need those little holder things. That's fine. Okay. So, so, boys and girls at home, you can make your own pirate scopes just by using a towel help. holder. <laughs> holder. <laughs> Some markers, some markers, crayons, or stickers. some stickers. And draw all over it. You can draw all over it. Yeah. Thank you for visiting us today. And we want to thank Miss Christina for joining us our three times that you've been here. Boys and girls, can we give her a big thank you? Yay! Thank you. And boys and girls at home, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.